Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. So today I'm going to talk about how our first two weeks of homeschool have gone this year. Today's video is a collaboration hosted by myself and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool and a bunch of other moms have joined us on this collaboration. So we've made a playlist. So if you're interested in seeing how everyone's first days and weeks of homeschool are going, definitely check out that playlist when you're done watching this video. So on the recording of this video, it is Thursday of the second week of us starting our homeschool. We usually start mid-August, but because we had some trips planned, we ended up starting a little closer to when our public school friends start. We started the last week of August. And what we did for our first week is I did three days. Our first day of school, we did sort of a half day. I did a little bit of independent work, probably just like a math and like a language arts. And then we started a little bit of our morning basket and group subjects. So I don't even think I did group subjects that first day. We did our new Bible and we did like one or two things from our morning basket and we called it a day. So kind of a half day. We had a lot of fun. Our first day of school, I had purchased a bunch of Usborne books. If you haven't seen my video on that, I will link that here. But I had an Usborne haul that I purchased and I laid out all the books on the couch so the kids could look at it. And then I had their piles of their new school supplies and some of their new curriculum items that I put on the table. And so when they came down in the morning, that's what they saw, as well as we had muffins from Costco that day, and that's kind of a special treat for my kids. We often try to do mostly a protein breakfast, so that is definitely not a protein breakfast, and it's full of sugar, so that was a special treat for them on that first day of school. My husband was also home for that first day of school. He works in a school district nearby, but he started more officially the next day, so he was home and he got to see kind of our first day of school, so that was kind of nice. All my kids had a good attitude about school starting, so I'm grateful for that. So day two, I probably added a little tiny bit more to their independent work, so math, language arts, maybe something else on their checklist. And we started our group subjects, just one of the group subjects. So we did a more full morning. I would say we probably ended about 11 o'clock and things went well. Wednesday, we just added a little more. And so that's kind of how we start our school year. We took Thursday and Friday off and just kind of enjoyed the weekend. And then we started back up on school. We did four days of school this week and we started on Labor Day. My husband was also the off that day, but that was fun because he got to join us when we went on the airplane to go to Australia. If you've been around, you know we like to do that. We are finishing up My Father's World at the beginning of this year and Australia is the last country that we're going to be visiting. So we did our recipes from Australia. My daughter who loves to bake and I made damper bush bread. We made a impossible pie, which is like a coconut egg kind of custard pie that was really delicious. And we made zucchini slices. So that was interesting. It was good. It was egg and zucchini and carrots and things like that. So we made those up the day of or the day before and had those ready to go. So when we got to our group subjects of that day, we got to jump on the plane. The kids got to get out their passports. I got to write down that we're entering Australia, sit on the plane, eat our Australian treats and watch a bunch of YouTube videos about Australia. And my husband got to be the coordinator for that since he was home. So that was kind of fun. Tuesday of this week, my boys had a dentist appointment, so it kind of interrupted our flow, but we went to the dentist in the morning and my kids just did independent work that day. So just building up, getting a little more independent work in there. So they've been doing really great on their independent work. And then Wednesday, we had testing to do as well. So also threw a wrench in our day, but things like this, we can prepare for them. So we didn't do group subjects or morning basket. We just did more independent work yesterday. And then today, this morning, we just finished our, we did pretty much a full day today. So I would say today is probably the first full, full day that we did. We did all our independent work. We did our group subjects. We did our morning basket. We did our Bible. The only thing that we haven't started yet is our IEW writing. And I think I will start that next week. Overall, I feel like these first two weeks have gone quite smoothly. So that's always something to be grateful for. In general, people's attitudes are really good. I do have a new reward system that might be helping in that department. Someone has asked me to make a video about how I do the reward system in our homeschool, so I need to make a video on that. But I will say that my fourth and fifth grade boys seem to be getting a little more independent on their work. 
they're a little bit more able to get started when it's time to get started for the day and just get into their work. So that has been good. I would say our roughest point is our personal devotions or morning devotions that I've tried to implement this year. My two girls generally can do those on their own, but the boys still need a lot of help. So we've been using, so I got this for them here. This is Word of Life. This is supposed to be for third and fourth graders. And let me just show you what it's like. They're pretty simple. Um, just this little square here, it tells them what to read, where to read in the Bible. They answer a few questions and read here. It has, it started a bit rough. It is something new. I've pretty much had to sit there and tell them what to do. But I feel like today it has gotten a little bit better. They are more able to find the verse and the verses are consecutive. So they're just learning how to continue and find what verse, what chapter, things like that and answer the question. So it's gone a little smoother. I wasn't sure how this would go based on the first few days that we did, but it's getting better. So I'm gonna reserve my thoughts on this word of life, um, word of life devotional for my boys at this point. I am very strongly considering moving into the SOAP method of personal devotions. And so if I do that, I will definitely make a video about that, but for now, I'm gonna to try to use what we have. I'm gonna to try to use this. And my girls have their own word of life that they started several years ago. So they're just going to continue with that and we'll just see how that goes. So morning basket has been going well. We're just rotating through the things. Chinese lessons have been going well as well. We have only done two lessons so far. We haven't started the Michael Clay Thompson language arts, but I do have that scheduled for next week. As far as our group subjects go, I haven't been able to do as many lessons in history as I would like. I would like to do two lessons a day, but that has been a bit of a challenge. So I've only been able to do one lesson and this is in the beautiful Veet primary early American history books. So I'm only able to do one lesson of that and then one lesson from something else. We're finishing up our Noeo science. I'm doing animal behavior and things like that. So we're trying to finish that off. Really, I just ended up, we're just reading out of the science encyclopedia. We're not doing any of the definitions or any hands-on things. It just slows us down too much. And I don't feel like the things that they were having the kids write down are that valuable or that it's going to stick in their mind. So we're just reading the pages and enjoying that process as we go. As I said, for geography, we are finishing up my father's world. So we're entering Australia. We're going to learn about Australia the next few weeks. And once we're finished that, we're going to start our Guest Hollow High School Geography and the Cultures curriculum and just do that at a very slow pace and a modified way for my upper elementary and middle school students. So I have my children's independent works checklist here and I'm just gonna take a look and see what, if it might trigger something I might, might, might wanna talk about. So one of the things that was a little bit mm, got in the way at the beginning of the school year was signing into things. We have started typing.com and code.org. So that's kind of a computer skills and coding program. And I signed up for teacher accounts and I thought I had everything ready. I thought I had all the students' names and logins and things like that ready, but somehow it still doesn't work even when you try to set everything up. So the first few lessons for typing.com and code.org, we just had a little bit of figuring out to do and trying to figure out. So kind of that going back to your computer, trying to figure out what their username is, what their login is and things like that. So that part was a little bit, so it just goes to show that even though you think you're prepared for the new school year, there's always going to be hiccups. There's always going to be little things that just take a little longer than you expect. Other than that, things have been going smoothly. I did decide after I did my loop schedule video that I will link here if you wanna see that. But after I created my loop schedule video, I did decide that I wanted to do my boys curriculum on a loop as well. So they pretty much are going through the loop as well as my daughters. And I think they enjoy that variety. I think especially my youngest son, I thought he might be more resistant to it because he's more of that, he'll get used to something if it's something regular and it's structured and it takes him a while. But he has enjoyed the mix and match of curriculum that we have going on in our loop and we have a nice variety for him. So I feel like he doesn't feel like this school year is as tedious maybe as past school years because there's a lot of variety for him. The other change that we have started this school year that has been going well and I'm really happy about is I'm finally having my fourth and fifth grade boys doing their silent reading on a book that I have assigned to them. So in the past, their 15 minutes of silent reading that they did during the day was just whatever they wanted to read. 
with, with some exceptions, but they could just pick up a book and read that to themselves. And I wouldn't necessarily know that they were reading. They might just be flipping through the pages and there was really no way to really tell. But I have been nervous about handing them a reader, something that I really want them to pay attention to and read closely and understand. I've been hesitant to give that to them as their 15 minutes of silent reading. All that kind of reading has always been done out loud to myself or my husband at night. So something new this year, something new that we started is the 15 minutes of silent reading and then they have to narrate to me what they read from the reader that I have assigned them. So in general, that's been going well. My fifth grader has been doing great with it. So I'm very happy with that. My fourth grader, he likes to skirt around the rules when he can. So we've had a few times where I'm like, okay, you, there's no way you finish that that book in 15 minutes. And I ask him questions and he doesn't really know the answers to them. So I'm like, okay, you might need to read that aloud to me today. So we have to do another 15 minutes and he has to read it out loud to me. But I think we might, hopefully we're over that. I'm not sure he has been doing it again, silent reading a reasonable amount of pages and he's able to narrate back what's happening. So he just likes to kind of go, he does his fingers really quickly on the lines and pretends that he's reading. So hopefully we're getting over that. I'm so happy that they're finally able to be doing something like that, read something I assign and actually understand and be able to narrate back to me. As for the schedule that I created for us in the summer, obviously that has changed, things have to change. We don't always know when speech and occupational therapy is going to be, what other activities might pop up, when our parent partnership program classes might be. And so when I create that schedule in the summer, it's a lot of guessing, but I do need to have that structure so I just know how to structure our days. So as we went through the two weeks, as I'm figuring out more information, I'm tweaking and moving and changing things around to try to suit us the best way possible. And I'm just scheduling out the days as an ideal situation, right? Things come up like dentist appointments and we have another one coming up next week. So I have to adjust my schedule and my plans for that day. However, the basic plan is there and I just can take out a piece of that plan and still follow the rest of the day. So I really like having that schedule to be able to use it to think about how to plan and how to get the most out of our days. So I would say so far that schedule, even though it has to be tweaked and stuff, I'm very grateful for having a schedule that helps me figure out what we're doing each day. So like I said, it's going well. Um, most people's attitudes are good most of the time. Um, I cannot complain about our first two weeks of school. I do feel like it's been a very slow ramp up, so I'm excited about doing a full week next week. And if you stick around, you will see my weekly planning video that is going to be the next video coming up. So if you're interested in seeing how I plan out week to week, then do like this video and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of when that video is up. Don't forget to check the playlist to see how the other mom's first days of homeschool or first weeks of homeschool are going. Thanks for coming today and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.